That's what it's. That's I'm what, trying to talk about traveling, man. Traveling is that's traveling. I just told you what traveling was. Getting outside your world. But I'm talking about seeing places that most people haven't seen. I'm trying to tell all the people all the extravagant places that you've. Traveled. Oh, I've been everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. The fuck. So what do you think um, people could do to expand their horizons if they want? What are the, what are the first places people should travel? Just out your neighborhood, shit. You ain't gotta be <laughs> far. Like, when I say travel, it's not so much the destination, it's just get out of your comfort zone, you know? So you even when I, even on my social media, I, I follow shit that I don't know shit about. Right. Cause I, I, I'm one of them niggas, I hate being in the club and everybody know the song but me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? That's how I am in life. I don't wanna be somewhere and everybody know what's going on but me. Mm. So that's how I learned in life. What's the best book you read? I don't read. <laughs> I learned through life. I'm trying, and that ain't a good thing. I'm trying to learn to read. I'm trying to learn. I read like two I books in my life. I expeditiously first. I I I, I, tried, I read two books. Okay, I, which ones were those? I read the uh, the Motley Crue book. Okay. That shit hard. What what's it? It's called Crown. Or, they made a movie about it with Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. That that motherfuckers was wild. Uh-huh. I read that What'd book. What you learn when you read that book? They was just wild. Like it was just they shit was just it was like, like entertaining book. I don't know. I don't. I ain't even talk about that on here because right, that shit is going viral. Right, come on, let's go. Um, <laughs> um, what else I'm saying? <laughs> it's a Miley Crew. The Miley Crew book. Was oh, and I read. I think the Fifty Laws of Power. Some shit like that there. But the Fifty Laws. Of I, Power. I'm trying to read the Alchemist. Alchemist is a good book. My sister got me that. I, ain't I think got that it. should be. The, I think that should be like a, if you're not a reader. Yeah. The Alchemist, I believe, should be a person's first book that gets them. Into I mean, I think it. reading and code is one of ever. I think we just at a point code like one of a I learned through book. visually, and I learned a lot through watching shit, just television a lot mm. growing up, and watching movies. Like I'm a movie buff, and I studied a lot of stuff like that. There's so a lot of stuff I learned. Through but that. that's the stuff they want you to know. Nigga, the same shit in the books. Books is stuff people want you to know too. Mm -hmm. It's just another person interpretation. It's hidden information. It's hidden information and in, in, in shit. Too. The Matrix is hidden. It's hidden information in your music. It, everything is a form. It's hidden information in my my posts. Anything I say, it's hidden. It's 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 hidden information. All this shit is a form of 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 a Bible, and that's how you have to treat it. Even in everything you do, a form of a Bible. Yeah, because a hundred years from now they're gonna be dissecting everything we talking about now. Even this shit here. Uh, this shit gonna be hieroglyphics. Stay woke. <laughs> now you have a new show, you say? Oh yeah, I do. Let's talk about your new show. Oh, it's called Black Cousteau. You know, Black it's, Cousteau. Yeah, it's just like showing me doing kind of like, you know, how Jerry Seinfeld had um, coffee and okay, comedians and cars getting comedians coffee. and coffee. I'm doing kind of like the same mm. thing where I go out, take people that ain't never experienced, not just entertainers or celebrities, but just like regular folks that ain't they ain't never been in been outside. They Norm, mm. just showing them something outside they know them, so just something like that. Damn, okay, so you mean like you gonna travel and go like the exotic places? It don't have to exotic be exotic places, it's just showing you something that you ain't seen. That's what it's, that's I'm what, trying to talk about traveling, man. Traveling is, that's traveling. I just told you what traveling was, getting outside your world. But I'm talking about seeing places that most people haven't seen. I'm trying to tell all the people all the extravagant places that you've traveled. Oh, I've been everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> shit, the fuck? I've been everywhere, yeah. <laughs> uh, like, what, what, what? Like, you, you have you climbed mountains and shit like that? Yeah, I, I done done everything you could think you would want to do, man. Okay, you so, know. So yeah. I mean, I, I, and I ain't just saying it to say it, but yeah, you here. You got I, you flexed on me like a motherfucker just did. I mean, I've done, I've really seen and done it all. You did the glide and shit, the body glide and shit. Uh, I ain't done that one yet, but okay. Oh yes, I have. In South Africa, I forgot. You did the body glide shit. Yeah, but I did it with somebody holding on to me though. Do that count? I don't know. Oh, but win is a win, yeah. About, <laughs> win is a win. The motherfucking way up suit where you spread your arms. No, hell no, I ain't did the squirrel shit. I I'm wanna do that, but I, I don't trust That's my- body glide. Oh, I thought you was talking about where you on the thing with the wings. Nah, it's hang glide. Oh, well, whatever, I done that shit. <laughs> I done been places I can't even pronounce for real, like. 
Uh-huh. I think, it, what was that place at the Maldives? And you, you the one corrected me one time. Yeah. Well, I said Maldives. Yeah, Maldives. Yeah. I've been there, man. I mean, the Maldives. You mean the Maldives, sir? Been there. <laughs> <laughs> so or, what, nigga? So what if you can say it? I, I, I'm here. Ain't been nowhere ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what makes you select? I think if you saw more, it'll help you more in your shit. I think it'll make you see the biggest scheme of everything. I, I mean, think that's the only thing that, that stops like you from growing I, mentally. I think that's when I started seeing more. Not so much the world, but I'm just seeing how they other, just seeing it, seeing it outside of our world, uh-huh. and it'll help our culture even more. I think that that's when I started really got them becoming conscious of, of my platform and, and what I can do for the generation. I didn't give a fuck about a generation before. I mean, I just care about getting paid like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I, I never ca- did. Yeah, n- so what, nigga? You're perfect. Fuck you. I didn't say I was perfect. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck you doing? Don't forget to subscribe to the Expeditiously Podcast right now on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. <laughs>